Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, we have seen a uh, switch statement, uh, how switch statement can be used. We have seen fall through in a switch statement. Now, uh, in this particular uh, video, we are going to see something called as nested switch uh, statement program. Now, in this particular program, what we have done is, we have tried to just programmatically uh, uh, turn coffee uh, vending machine uh, functionality okay so based on uh, any menu driven programming uh, we can whenever we are having we are basically using switch statement so this is the small demonstration how we can actually use coffee vending machine uh, using uh, switch statement nested uh, switch statement Uh, we have seen coffee, coffee vending machine many times. We have used it many times. So let's check it out. Uh, similar representation of switch. So here I'm having a program. Yeah. Now let's check it out carefully. Here I'm having class nested switch. I'm having main method, okay. Oh, uh, this is not. Yeah, I'm having main method. Now here I'm having a string, which is choice, and I'm having type of t. Now what is this? We'll see. Now before starting with it, I'm going to show to the uh, people that I what are the choices I'm having. So I'm having a choices like hot water, milk, tea and coffee, okay? And then I'm making a choice that is I want a tea, okay? So this particular switch statement is going to start with the choice. The choice is right now with me is a tea. As I've already told that in a switch, we can use string also as an expression. So here I'm having a string which is right now going as an expression over here. Now you have to make sure that all the cases has to be, yeah, it has to be string. Okay, so the data type should, should match for switch expression and the cases. So here I'm taking a choice that is T. Um, it first check out the case first case and it is trying to match this choice with this case the this case is hot water so whereas my choice is t so what is going to happen there is no match over here so it will uh, directly go to second uh, switch uh, second case so here the sec case is milk is this milk is matching with my choice my choice is t right so again it is not matching so it will go to next case now my next case is t now this case and my this choice is matching so what is going to happen the code which you have written inside this case will get execute so inside it what it is saying please select the type of t i'm having t but i'm having varieties of t's so you have to choose one of the t type so that's why I have taken the variable above that is type of T. Uh, so here I have given the choice that is iced tea. I want an iced tea. So let's check it out now. So as I'm having n number of options, so I'm having switch statement over here. So switch, I'm taking uh, input that is type of T. So type of T is matched against each and every option. So first case is uh, inside this inner switch case is black tea. So is my type of tea is matching with a black tea? My type of tea is what? Iced tea. So is it equivalent to black tea? No. So it will not execute this. It will go to next case. So next case is saying that it is for green tea. Is my type of tea is green tea? No. It's a iced tea. So again, this will not get executed. Then the next case is what? Iced tea. So it is matching with my 
choice so my choice was what iced tea and my case is also iced tea so it is matching so that's why it is going to execute whatever you have written inside the case so it is saying thank you for cheese uh, for choosing iced tea and later on it will be breaking out so it will break out and it will go here out of this so after this what is written break now this break is belongs to your outer uh, outer case statement outer case statement for t okay so here what will happen it will break out from outer loop or uh, outer switch also and it will go to directly end of the switch so here it will come out of this and it will come here so you can have me a uh, code after that if you want so let's try out now with this combination so i'm just compiling this java switch instead switch yeah compiled now let's execute it So what should I get over here? First of all, I am getting the, my choices. So I am cho getting cho choices like hot water, milk, tea and coffee. Then I have selected, if you remember, tea. So that's why I am getting, please select the type of tea. And within uh, tea, I have selected iced tea. So that's why it is giving me thank you for choosing iced tea. okay so now uh, uh, let's try to modify this program now what I'm going to do is uh, in T I'm going to give you let's say lemon tea okay so first of all what will happen definitely uh, first it will go to outer switch it will try to match all my choices I mean this choice will match with this third uh, option that is T then it is taken lemon tea so now it will go to inner switch inner switch I'm having many options but do I have option for lemon tea over here I have a black tea green tea iced tea but I'm not having lemon tea so where it will go it will go to the default statement you know where when default statement will execute when there is no case match okay so if none of the case is matched then it will go to default statement so what it will do it will print that invalid choice so let's check it out one thing you have to remember uh, these choices which are given in the string so it is case sensitive So I have compiled this and now I am executing it. So what I am getting my choices like hot water, milk, tea, coffee. So I have chosen tea. So now I am getting please select the type of tea and here I am getting invalid choice lemon tea. Okay. So let's modify this further. What I am going to do, I am going to make a choice for milk. What will happen now it will go to outer switch my choice is uh, milk so it will first check it out against first case it will not match it is going to check second case now it is matching with my second case that is milk so it will execute it and it will then break it out so further cases are not going to execute okay so here what is going to happen uh, as the choice milk is matched what will happen it will print this and it will come out of this state um, this switch okay 
so no other choices and no other cases and inner cases are going to execute so let's try it out so compiled executed so what it is giving me first of all all the choices and then it is giving me th uh, thanks for choosing milk okay so this is the way uh, your nested switch case uh, executes now for any uh, menu driven programming switch cases are normally uh, seems to be uh, I would say good choices uh, but if it is and having conditional options then definitely we will go for if else ladder okay but if you have exact matches then you can go for switch cases basically uh, now why it is better uh, to use switch cases is basically your uh, compiler if you are using switch cases then your compiler is uh, actually scanning each and every case okay it is mapping uh, each and every cases this is, it is making jump table okay out of these all cases and uh, it is going to add, uh, going to make execution path for each and every case okay so basically as this particular execution path is already ready with the compiler so whenever you are choosing anything it is going to just uh, make it performance wise very much faster okay and that is why uh, we are basically using switch cases uh, for menu driven programming or uh, rather than ladder refers okay so do try out such combinations okay do like and share these videos thank you